Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. I hope you're all really well and excited for this video. It is quite a specific video so I know it will probably not be for everyone but yeah you guys have sent in lots of questions all about marketing, getting into your like first post you need a job so yeah I've been meaning to film this for so long and I'm just getting around to it now so yeah I'm really excited to film this to be honest you guys asked some where are they really interesting and good questions so I've got them here and I'm ready to answer so yeah grab yourself a snack get a cup of tea I've got some Maltesers and I have got a what is this it is a te one of the Tetley like energy booster teas that are really good. I'm sat in my beanbag, I'm comfy. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video and let's get straight into it. So just a little bit of background. If you guys are new here, I have been out of uni for like a year and a half now ish I think yeah and my first job is in hospitality marketing I love it it's for a company that has brasseries and pubs and yeah it's been a dream I've loved it I've learned so much and I yeah I'm very very lucky with the first job that I got after uni um I was quite lucky I had quite an easy process of getting a job but yeah I'll go into it all in this Q&A so that's just a little bit of background on me I'm living in London at the moment my job is in London Currently on furlough, um, we know the drill. But first question is, what role did your degree play in you finding your job? Any CV tips? So I did English literature as a degree. I did not do marketing, which is something people are often really surprised about. But honestly, you do not need a marketing degree. You just need to make sure you can apply the skills from your degree to a marketing job. And something like English literature, literature it has so many transferable skills that you learn in the degree that you can take with you and it is pretty creative as well which is obviously a really key part of working in marketing um so yeah just take whatever skills you can find from your degree and apply them um so for me my degree um you have to be super organized good with words good with writing copy good with writing in general um you've got to be kind of creative have different thoughts um yeah you've got to be super organized in english literature and on the ball they're just some of the things that applied to marketing and then for me personally, I think what really helped get my job is that throughout uni, I really built my CV in terms of marketing. So through my own social media, I got loads of experience through that. And I had some good um, work experience as well, which also helped on my CV. So if your degree is not in the field that you want to go into, make sure you're just building your CV as much as possible through uni um, to show your employer after uni that you have been trying, if you know what I mean, and you've been aiming towards the job that you want to get. So in terms of CV tips, just make it as long as possible. Just put down whatever you can think of um, when it comes to your future career on your CV, get that work experience, um, reach out to companies, see if they'll even take you on for a day, or like just anything, honestly anything helps to make you stand out. Use your own initiative, maybe, I always say this one, it's probably kind of obvious, but I always say to people, start a blog, start a passion project to show your employer that you are really invested in working in that area. Um, blogs are such a good one because they're free and you can put not a lot of time into it, but you can make it really good. Um, so say if you want to go into hospitality marketing, start a blog on food, create your own recipes, but not only that, review restaurants. Any restaurants you go to, write up a review of the restaurant, your experience, the food, the management, um, the service, every part you can think of, and start over time to like build a kind of like portfolio of reviews and um, blogs about hospitality. Take that to an interview and your employer can see that you've been working towards the job that you want to get. I've got a question saying, how did you find the job role you are currently in? A friend actually told me about the role, um, put me in contact, I went for the interview and yeah, I got it. I remember I was up, I knew that I was up against some actual media students that were in London. Um, so I was kind of surprised that I did get the role to be honest because um, I, I did think even though I've got quite a good CV and um, marketing kind of social media experience but I did think well they obviously have more of a chance because um, they've got like a media degree but what's your fave aspect of your job so far so I do marketing across the board I'm not just digital but most of what I do is digital um, but having said that 
I absolutely love the photography days. Um, so I've been on a few of the food shoots, the men new menu shoots, and they're just incredible. It's like hard work and a very new thing for me, but watching it happen and being involved in the photo shoots and knowing that I had like a little bit of say in them is just so cool. When you see the end product and you see the pictures like everywhere and we upload them to the website, it's just it's such a like a cool process and such a fun thing to be part of because it's really like you're really seeing like visual results it's really rewarding and i love with food that you can be so creative and yeah i love the photo shoot days they're honestly so good i'm sorry if it's a little bit dark in this room today i've got my ring light on but so gloomy at the moment like the sun has not come out so i've got a question saying did you need hospitality experience to work in hospitality marketing this is something I've not actually mentioned, I forgot to mention this, but really good question. You don't, um, especially for a grad job, because obviously I think employers know that you're not going to have all the experience in the world. But I would say, like, I worked in a pub for six, seven years, and then I worked in um, another, like, cafe restaurant that's kind of quite famous. Um, so I got a lot of experience working as a, wa um, a waitress and then I was behind the bar for years and then I worked in this other like restaurant. Yeah, I would just say that was such a good thing that I could bring to the interview because I've had years of experience working in hospitality and being like on the front line, if that makes sense. So yeah, now to work behind the scenes is so interesting because now I really know how much goes into running a place and like I really do know what a successful business is and yeah you can just tell them miles apart I've literally the, the restaurant company that I work for is honestly amazing like they're the most genuine it's the most genuine company they care so much about all the employees yeah how many job jobs did you apply for until you found the one you were in so I actually sent off so many applications to um, really big, I was actually aiming at fashion originally, I was sending them out to really big fashion companies um, and looking back I'm like you just didn't have the experience for that but so yeah I sent off a lot my CV to a lot of applications and then but in terms of interviews I only did one interview before I got my job and that interview was horrible, it was the weirdest company ever not nice it's one of those weird pyramid scheme things and they just fully lied on their application form as to what i was going for um so yeah that was not enjoyable where is the best best place to look for graduate jobs while you are still at uni so literally check google all the time um google is your best friend i just used to type in the exact job that i wanted and they'd come up straight away um but just literally i know it's like a generic answer but literally just use all the main generic websites and that is where you're probably going to find your job. Not only that, but make sure you're emailing companies directly because often on the websites, um, on companies' website, they will also show the roles that they're looking for or email, reach out to people, ask for internships, that kind of thing. Like, you've got nothing to lose when you're applying for jobs. Just go for it, like, head first. Um, email as many companies as you want. Apply for as many jobs as you want and you will get that job, I promise you. <laughs> Where's a good place to look for marketing internships? So... I don't know so much about this one, but I do have one website that I know is good for marketing internships especially, um, but it's more in like the digital creative fashion field, but I guess some of you might be interested in that, and it's called Fashion Worky, and they have a lot of really good internships on there with quite big companies as well, so yeah, that's a good one to look at. Girls who graduate Instagram page, Bronte sometimes puts on there um, jobs that are going, and there's also quite a few other Instagram pages I think that... Um, are aimed at marketing and show and put up um, marketing internships. So have a little look at Instagram. Again, look at websites directly, email people and just yeah, see what you can find. Have like a little rummage on the internet basically and just see what comes up because there are a lot of internships out there. I kind of answered this earlier, but a girl says, what type of marketing do you do? So yeah, I do across the board marketing, um, but mainly focus on digital, I'd say. Like I do mostly digital. Um, and some of the things include, in digital, some things include like website updates, writing copy, um, so running Instagram, Facebook, Facebook communities, um, god there's so much, emails, I don't do emails, um, but hopefully at some point I will be able to do that, um, Facebook advertising, ads, um, what else is there? 
just like general updates that you don't even think about like updating TripAdvisor that kind of thing um putting out communications to the world um there's so much that goes into it and when you reel off a list it doesn't sound like much but every job is so time consuming um so it really does take like a long time to do each job on digital even though digital is obviously a really fast way of communicating to people any shocks you weren't expecting when going into the marketing industry um i think just how much really goes into it behind the scenes and how hard it is to like build a brand i think also with marketing it's so important to be able to communicate with the customer directly um and be relatable as a brand i think that's why influencer marketing has done so well lately oh that's another one of the things that i do um look after influencers um that's why influencer marketing has just like skyrocketed recently because they're so relatable and they kind of do the mediating between the brand and um the consumer they're kind of like the middle person which is really good for brands like i love working with influencers at work because they really make people see the brand in a different light and in a more relatable light as well because people trust influencers people don't trust brands as much because obviously brands are going to big themselves up and put themselves in the best light but influencers have a bit more of a say in what they put out and um they can be really truthful with what they say about brands so yeah um well, I don't actually know what I was answering, what I was answering, any shocks you weren't expecting. That really went off on a tangent, um, but yeah, like I said, it's how much goes into it um, and just how time consuming it is, especially with hospitality marketing. Oh my God, like, just like the finest little details, like having to check the menus a million times before they go to print in case of um, there's like a spell check. I've got a question saying, do you have a creative CV? Do you think they're a must for marketing or social jobs? So no, I don't. I just have a normal CV, but I don't know if in the future when I like move on, I will create a creative CV. I'm not sure. I am not probably the best person to ask on this actually. I just, I think if I was going for like a fashion role, I would do a creative one for sure. Um, but I don't think for every marketing role you have to really do it creatively. I really do think it depends on the brand that you're applying for. Especially for the company that I work for, I wouldn't, if I'd have really thought about it, I wouldn't have done a creative CV. But say if I was gonna apply for a job at Nasty Gown, um, the fashion brand, I would do a creative CV. And um, if I was going for like a social media job, so it kind of depends on the brand. I don't think it's necessary, but if you are playing to a company, just get a feel for the company and what you think they want to see. Um, or if it's a really big company, try and find out from someone that works there what they expect um, in advance. I wouldn't worry about the format of your CV. I think the most important thing is the contents and that you've got things to show for on your CV. Did you have a lot of experience before playing for your marketing role? So. As I mentioned earlier, my experience was mainly social and digital um, because I've had my YouTube and Instagram for years. I've had a blog in the past. I've worked with, like not in a braggy way, but I've worked with so many brands and created content for so many brands for years that that I could just pop that straight on my way on my CV. I worked for a, a company that Virgin Media used to own and I used to write blog posts for them every single month so I had those to demonstrate that I had good copywriting skills. I also had all my essays from my degree which I could take to the interview to show that I could write pretty concisely and pretty well. Um, I had good work experience as well which is something that's really key I think. Um, I had my um, part-time jobs so the jobs that I mentioned earlier in the pubs and restaurants um, I had those and I think that's really important to show that you've worked from a young age I think that's really something that employers want to see um, because it shows that you are like a motivated person you can get good references and yeah so I did have quite a lot of experience but in all honesty you don't need to worry about spending hours and hours on getting this experience because like I said create a blog that is one piece of experience ticked off the list um, do the little things that don't aren't that time consuming and yeah just anything to show your employer basically is worth doing. <laughs> Question saying, did you have to take an advertising course? So, no, I didn't. I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope I got through like most of the main questions that you guys were asking. Um, if not, leave me any more questions down below and I will definitely get back to you. I'm probably gonna think of like loads of things that I should have said in this video after I finish filming, but yeah, we can always do a part two if you guys are interested in a part two or any other kind of 
job story time, um, post university life video, leave a comment down below and I will get it filmed for you because I've got so much time right now. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Mwah.